pals. We've just wrapped up Season 4 of Miami Vice and On Go With The Heat podcast. We're breaking down all our favorite moments from the season. On this week in Vice, we'll be taking a look at the summer and fall of 1988 to get ready for the start of Season 5. There are 25 weeks between seasons, so we'll be breaking them up into five-week sections. This week, let's look back to May 9th to June 11th, 1988, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on May 18th, a drunk driver hit a former school bus carrying church youth group on Interstate 71 outside of Carrollton, Kentucky. The drunk driver was traveling the wrong way on the highway and hit the bus head-on, killing 27 and injuring 34. In the aftermath, bus safety and emergency exits were improved for all new buses, and several members of the families of the victims became active in Mothers Against Drunk Driving, including Carolyn Nunnally, who would become the national president. In music, believe it or not, over this five-week stretch, there are only two songs that reign supreme on the top of the Hot 100. It's a tough decision, but I'm going to have to skip talking about One More Try by the king of the 80s and George Michael. One More Try was the fifth single from the album Faith and one of the countless classics from Michael. Instead, I want to talk about the breakthrough hit Anything For You by Gloria Estefan and Miami Sound Machine. From the album Let It Loose, Anything For You, the song was an international hit and more evidence that Thanks to Miami Vice, anything with Miami in it will become an instant hit. In movies, in the exact opposite from music, there are four movies at number one during this time, including the sequel. Colors holds the top spot for one more week and then gives way to Friday the 13th Part 7, The New Blood, which I'm not going to talk about here. I'm also not going to discuss Crocodile Dundee 2, which ends up winning the box office for three weeks. No. Instead, I'd rather talk about one of my favorite movies of all time. Directed by Ron Howard and starring Val Kilmer, Warwick Davis, and Joanne Wally is Willow. The fantasy story was written by George Lucas and is something that modern films have a hard time achieving. Fun. From beginning to end, the movie is just fun for all ages and is still a classic. I don't care how it was received by critics or if it got nominated for any awards. There are two movies that are untouchable and should never, ever receive a remake, which are Willow and The NeverEnding Story. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show go with the heat at gmail.com or follow us on Twitter at go with the heat. That's all for this week. Bye, pals.